Hey guys, how are you? Okay, Simon here. This is uh, part two of the goal setting New Year's resolutions video series. Part one was last week. So here's six tips and tricks for myself that I'm, I'm optimistic you implement in your life. They should help you achieve more next year and stay on track. All right, so six quick things. Number one, try pinpoint reasons for past failures. So often people set New Year's resolutions and goals and they're similar to last year, the year previous. It's worthwhile committing time and, and almost trying to pinpoint, right, I've set this goal before and it hasn't worked. Why was that? All right, number two, be realistic and create as much detail as possible. Again, people set New Year's resolutions and goals and they're just, they're just a little bit too much. They're too far-fetched um, and like in, in, a, in a heartbeat, you'll fall off that goals and you'll feel disheartened. Be realistic and be as detailed as you possibly can. Break it down into what you want to achieve over the year, six months, quarterly, monthly, and even weekly. When you move to weekly, try to set a detailed action plan around each of the things you need to do that week. Writing it down will really help. Number three, um, for once, actually plan rewards for yourself. That's probably something you've never done. So, for example, over the next month, if I achieve these three major things, that's my reward. It's amazing what it can do for motivation. And um, when you allow yourself almost switch off, you reward yourself, it'll just kickstart the following week or the following month. So that's number three. Number four, consider talking about it, right? This doesn't work for everyone, but works for many. Why not, whatever it is you're planning, actually tell people, tell family, tell friends. Subtly, it'll put a bit of pressure on yourself, um, but it'll come up in conversation and it'll just, it'll just help you as I said, achieve more and stay on track. So consider talking about it to those you're close with. Right, number five, this is huge. Don't beat yourself up if you fall off the wagon. Um, you're never just gonna go you know, up in a straight ladder. You'll take three steps forward, one step back. The following month, you might have a great month. You might take six steps forward, three steps back. It's just what happens. Do not beat yourself up. You're not going to just go from zero to hero straight off the bat. It's a process. Gaining new habits is a process that you learn over years. Losing those bad habits and creating new habits doesn't happen overnight. That also takes time and you're going to have ups and downs. Right, the last one, number six, probably the most important, this is, this is something that most never do. When you're mapping out what you want to do over the weeks and the months, add in time to assess how you've gotten on and to assess the week, the month, because what you'll actually realize is I was too far-fetched on that. That took me much longer than I expected. I never contemplated the, the extra costs that I'd have in my life, which reduced my plan for that. Life gets in the way, I always use that sentence. And it's just useful to keep yourself motivated when you have assessed the week, the month, and you realize, okay, I wanted to do all those things, but it, it just didn't all happen. I'm now going to make it more realistic for the following month. It's crucial, set time into uh, assessing how you get on. All right, six tips and tricks myself, guys. Next week, I'm gonna be discussing that exact point on your check-ins each week or each month and how to stay on track. Thanks a million, take care.